Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo. Today, I'm sharing a decor haul. Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to share a haul with you guys, things I've been picking up from different stores. The theme is pillows. I also have some thrifted items. And then we're gonna do a quick catch up and chit chat at the end. So let's get right into what I'm finding. So we are gonna start over here with a few things that I have been picking up. I have been finding pillows and I'm very picky when it comes to pillows. You guys know I share a lot of pillow covers, but right now, and this literally, I found this yesterday and it was on sale. I think it was $18. It is from Target. They have a lot of things on clearance right now. So if you haven't been in, you may want to check out your store. I am going to go online and see if I can find one more. So this duvet cover is actually another Target clearance find. And so it's not far in here. They're not the same. This is for the great room. I just, I love it. It does have a zipper, so I'm a big fan of that. And I've been looking for substantial pillows for the great room, and I found them. I didn't want to spend the money on them, but I found them. So that I just found at Target. That'll be just an accent pillow, but I bought four of these. And I would venture to say that these are the same size as my Euro Shams, so I'm not sure. I think that's like 26 inch square. They are down filled. They were expensive. They were, for me, this is expensive. They were $24.99 a piece. They do have zippers. They're super heavy and woven. And I did buy four of them. So kind of a Mother's Day gift to myself a little early. And I just love that they have like the cream in them. They have that sort of taupey color that goes so well with our leather sofas in the great room. And then they almost have a grayish to that beige stitching. So it goes really well with the carpet, the rug that I picked out for in there. So I am feeling so good that I finally found something that I love. And I saw them and I thought, oh, I love those. They're too expensive. I walked away and I thought, you know, I'm never gonna find anything I like that much anymore. And so I walked back and I found four and I just did it. So that's exciting. That'll be in the great room. Something else I've been doing is picking up lots of succulents for a few planned projects. So right now they have a lot of vase filler and these succulents are considered vase filler at Target on clearance. And these are actually only $7.50 right now. So check your stores. They're normally, normally 10. And I went online on Amazon looking for really good deals on succulents. And I did not think I was going to like these. I was totally prepared to return them, but I love them. I think that they did a great job on them. So I'll actually try and find the link and put it in the description of this video. I want to say this was $20 and you end up with 25 succulents. It might be 25 and 25. Um, but literally these at Hobby Lobby... <laughs> would be like seven dollars and so I I am really happy with some of them they do have larger ones and smaller ones but I do like the colors I think they're very well made heavy heavy plastic I thought this one was really pretty it's almost got some blue in it and purple this one will probably end up in my daughter's room and this one that is just huge so those are the larger ones. There are some smaller ones in here. There was even some with like a purple hue that was just perfect for what I was thinking. So I'll share all that with you guys. Um, but yeah, some really good deals to be had. I went to Dollar General and my problem is we have really oversized furniture here. And so that's like a rug from the Target dollar spot I put on as sort of like I don't know, like a placemat or just like a little runner. I found this at Dollar General. It was only $5. And it's the perfect size for the tops of our nightstands. Now I still need to refinish them. It's on the list. But this whole room is on the list. I'm going to get to that now. Um, so I did pick this up. I hope I can find another. My Dollar General only had one. But I'll head to another store. Now before I get into the plans for in here... 
I found this. I almost walked out without it at Burlington. It's actually a runner and it looks very much like that rug, actually, same style. Um, this is the base of it. It's supposed to be the front of it, I should say. So it was a $12.99 runner. And to me, that's, you know, right now every penny counts. So I just really liked it. I know I'm going to go use it in um, the living room. And I actually think I'm going to use the unintended side. Because I think I like that a whole lot more. And it goes better with what we have in there. So they do have some good prices on runners. You may want to check out Burlington. I think I shared this artwork. I am going to be sharing a project for our master bedroom in here using it. So stay tuned for that. But the reason I mentioned that is I found these pillows at Ross last night for $16.99. They are the perfect color for in here for what I was looking to do. So you guys know I refinished that headboard when we moved here. I picked it up on Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. We have really high ceilings. There we go. Sorry, we went out of focus. I want this wall to be kind of the focal point of the bedroom because I'm going to be sharing plans behind me with you guys too. And so I'm toying with the idea of painting sort of a terracotta color on the wall. I know it's, it's bold, right? But I am in love with like this shade, but just, I want to match it kind of to these pillows. So like the perfect blend of terracotta with a little bit of rose to it, I want to say. So I picked up some paint samples. Now the other option is I found some wallpaper I really like. Still talking to my husband into that, <laughs> but it's sort of a textured wallpaper and it's like a, I want to call it a seagrass um, so that's another idea for this wall. I would love to know what you guys would do. Um, I think we need some color in here because it is just kind of a bland box. These are all the windows. I do my editing over here on a little desk and that's going to change really, really soon. So this is what is opposite the bed and I'm going to share about changes that are coming for here um, and why. But what I want to do is a desk situation here. So it's not going to look the same here either. And if I don't do the color on the wall behind the bed, I could do it here or I could do the wallpaper. So I would love to know what you guys think because this is going to have a whole new look and feel to it. It's basically going to be my office. Um, so let me share a few more finds with you guys. I was just at Hobby Lobby and I actually found one of those woven placemats that looks just like this in their Easter stuff. It's in the kitchen already. Um, and I got it for like $2 as part of their Easter stuff. It is 75% off. So you may want to check that out. Now I picked this up at 40% off and it's just a canister. This is the smallest one. I think they have three sizes and it is metal. It has that woven look but I really need some texture and color to break up a lot of the black in the living room and storage is a bonus. Now we went out thrifting, my daughter and I, and I actually got a purse I'll share with you guys too, but um, I found this and it didn't have a price tag and I fell in love with it and I took it up to the register and the lady's like, how about a dollar? And I was like, how about, yeah, that sounds great to me. Um, the same thrift store, I actually found this and it's a necklace. It's a name brand. Um, it was $2. Love Poppy Jewels. Now I will most likely be taking the tassel off of it, but I just really like the wooden beads. And then I actually found this little devotional. And you guys know I'm starting a second channel. It's going to be sort of devotion-based encouragement from the Bible. And this was just 25 cents. So I thought that that would be nice to have. It's just devotions for women. And then at the same thrift store, I found this little woven box. Let me take this plant down. 
but I just thought this was beautiful and storage. So little thank you notes. This would be great in the living room on a shelf. And I love that it's got that rich texture. This was all of $225. So great deal on that. I think something like this at Target would probably be $20. So love that. And then I was at Walmart last night. <laughs> I did a lot of shopping. And they have their Easter wreaths at 90% off. So this was priced regularly at $21.99. So I paid $2.10. Now I don't love this flower. Um, I think it's supposed to be um, cherry blossom in the white. But to pay $2.50 to get a really nice full wreath, I'm just going to pull those flowers off and then do something different probably for summer for 4th of July I'll add something in and it'll have a whole new look and you can't beat that price so when I was in Hobby Lobby getting all of the things for the corsages I made they run sales on their floral and that includes their faux foods so for summertime I thought it would be fun to pick up some little red apples as vase filler and so these were $7.99 regularly priced and then they were 50% off and then $6.99 for their strawberries. So love those. And <laughs> this is the third time I bought this same plant from Burlington. So I love donkey's tail. I have real donkey's tail outside and I just, I don't know how they price this at $7.99, but they do. Let me show you guys. Um, I had bought one of these and I've moved it around the house a few times already. I think it's in my husband's office right now. And they had two of them. So I already have the other one in the kitchen. And it's just so much very real looking donkey's tail. Now let me show you guys my first name brand purse. So we have a resale shop, actually quite a few of them in our area. And I've never had a fancy purse. I just... I'm not a purse girl, but I'm just very basic. And this was just such a good buy. So it's a Kate Spade bag and it was $40. And I had racked up enough credit by taking things into resale that it more than paid for the purse. So I was really excited. It's like in brand new condition. What I like the most about a purse is that it stands up on its own. So that and being basic black, I think it is great. This is larger than my current purse, but I'm so happy to have like a nice bag, especially when we're getting ready to travel out to California for things like bridal showers and for the wedding. I'll have a nice bag. So now for a quick catch up, I am doing so much better. I am out and about walking around in my boot and I only have, I think, two and a half weeks left in the boot. I am so grateful. It's been a long process. Do you guys realize I had surgery in February? It's almost May. It has gone by really quickly. I'm grateful for that, but I'm also really grateful to almost be done with the boot. It's not super comfortable. Um, so in this time span, you guys can see I'm hatching lots of plans around the house been picking up pieces to start projects. We're going to be working on the back patio that I will share with you guys. I have been working in the kitchen that I will share with you guys. Something I want to start doing more is cooking on the channel because I've shared a few reels on Instagram and you guys seem really interested. Um, I'm not a fancy cook. I'm a very simple cook. And right now I'm just trying to put together meals and dinners, especially that don't break the budget. So I would love to know and hear from you if you guys are interested in seeing that. When I started my channel, I don't know, five years ago, I did make dinner with me Mondays. I'm not sure what we're going to do this time. It might just be affordable dinners <laughs> or things that I make on the regular. Um, so that's happening. My daughter had prom. I shared the corsage that I made for her and a few for her friends. And that was a lot of fun. It's really been nice to be crafting a little bit. Um, those type of videos don't seem to get a whole lot of views and that's okay. I like doing those type of videos. And um, we have some big changes coming. So my daughter will be graduating. She'll be attending a local college in the fall. Her 
best friend is moving in with us in the summer at some point. So surprise, we are going to be a family of five again. This is something we've talked about for the last year. And so the guest room will actually become her room. And that means that I'm going to have to do a lot of shifting around the house, which is good. Um, I've been thinking about where I'm going to put everything and how I'm going to make the organization work. So something I'm going to do in our room, and I've already switched it up a few times, so this will be like the third time, is that I'm going to actually use this dresser in her room. And we're going to move my clothes back into the closet and move my craft stuff from my master closet out here. And I am going to be designing a whole space for crafting right here. There are some crafts that I definitely want to tackle. Um, there's just things that I think I can be really helpful with in real life to other people. And so I think I can share those ideas here with you guys and as well, bless them. So I'm excited about that. We have the wedding coming up in the fall and that will bring with it a whole other amount of busyness. So things are really busy around here. Our son is going to be in a quinceanera and so lots of practice and fittings for suits and that sort of thing. But I'm excited for summer and I'm excited most of all to be out of the boot and that way I'll be just more mobile. We'll be out and about doing more. But I definitely want to mention if you are interested in being on Instagram that I do have Instagram and I am doing a lot better about sharing over there. It's just a little less time consuming than sitting down and editing a YouTube video. But I am also really excited that I've already started working on the other channel that we are going to have here on YouTube. And I'll be announcing that probably in the next week or two. So please be praying for that. And it's just nice to sit down and catch up with you guys. I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back very soon.